All right, John, thanks. This uh, is an exciting day for the, for the Rangers organization. I, I want to first welcome uh, many of our staff and, and a lot of our partners here. are going to share in, in a, a fun day for all of us. Um, real quick, before we, we get into introducing Cole and, and um, you know, the, the new Rangers, just want to you know, review a little bit of, of when we met after the season. We met with our, our media and, and talked to our fans after the season, our, our plan for this winter. And, you know, to state the obvious, and, and I speak for all of our, of our staff here, our ownership, you know, Woody, the players, uh, our scouts, everybody out in the field, um, you know, we haven't been in contention for several years, and that has not been acceptable to anybody here. Um, but at the same time, and, and during that period, we've spent considerable time, energy, resources, uh, in building out what we consider to be a, a world-class organization. Um, you've got, obviously, the, a best-in-class ballpark here and an unbelievable clubhouse with uh, every amenity and, and um, opportunity for the players to improve. Two performance centers, one here, one in Arizona, a best-in-class Dominican facility, uh, our Urban Youth Academy in, in West Dallas and all the great programming that we've done there, a uh, high-end dorm uh, to treat our minor leaguers uh, as best we possibly can out in Arizona, uh, and, and really investing in adding, retaining uh, some of the best coaches, uh, evaluators, and, and, and staff across the board. Um, it really, we consider the best in the game. And um, topped off with our, with our continued co uh, commitment to Woody last month. Uh, we built a, a top 10 farm system uh, that's only going to get better. We, we've got the third pick in the country coming up here next year. Our evaluators, our player development group, um, hats off to them for an unbelievable job that, that they've done and continue to do. And all of this in, in a market, uh, we were at the, what, the fourth or fifth largest market in the country that's, that's primed to embrace a, a championship club and, and quite frankly deserves that, uh, deserves that winner and, and we're, we're excited to continue working towards that. Through the, the last few weeks in, in this free agent process, we've had a chance, for, for lack of a better ter term, we've had a chance to pull back the curtain really for the first time for people outside of our organization on some of those things that we just touched on. And um, it, it's been really exciting to do that. Uh, we've been able to brag on, on you know, our investments and, and our infrastructure a little bit, but more exciting has been to see the, the players' response to that and uh, as they've been excited in, in their reactions. Uh, one thing that, that's really important to note, um, you know, ownership asks us to be aggressive in finding just the, the, the right fits for this organization, for our community, on and off the field this offseason. Uh, Ray Davis has been intimately involved with, with our plans. Uh, he's been a, a driving force in uh, pushing us back to contention. And uh, you know, I want to recognize and, and thank Ray and, and the rest of our ownership group for for their support and, uh, and quite frankly, for their, their motivation uh, and their desire to, to build a champion and a long-term champion for this community. Uh, this is an exciting day, but, but it's, it's obviously just one moment in time. We, we haven't won anything um, uh, by any stretch. We've got a ton of work ahead of us. We're going to continue getting after it and making incremental smart decisions uh, every day to, till uh, we reach our goals. So I want to turn it over to CY to, to uh, hit on a few things, then I want to let you all get a chance to talk to Cole. Uh, thanks, J.D., and very well said. I think, um, you know, J.D. touched on a number of things that uh, we have spent a lot of time, even pre predating my arrival here, uh, to set this organization up for this offseason. And as we have spent the last several months really understanding our needs as an organization, what our vision is, and how we intend to accomplish it, uh, we have been very diligent in our process in identifying the right players for this organization. Players who fit our style of play that are winning players, not only on the field, but also in the clubhouse. Players who are leaders, players who make the players around them better, who elevate our standards to Woody's championship standards. And uh, it gives me a great honor to introduce one of those players today in Cole Calhoun. Someone who we think is a, uh, the perfect fit for us at this moment in time. Somebody who I've had the pleasure of playing against. Uh, I don't miss facing him on the mound. <laughs> uh, but we are extremely excited to welcome Cole and his wife Jennifer to the Texas Rangers organization. <laughs> right. 
Okay, we'll start taking questions. So raise your hand. We have two wireless mics. Start with Emily. Cole JD and CY mentioned the, them being able to kind of show off the work that they've been doing behind the scenes. What kind of impression did that make on you, and what are some of the things that you learned about this organization that you didn't know previously? Uh, well, I mean, the commitment to winning uh, shows, right, um, with what they did and the players that they've added. Uh, it's very, very excited. They're very, very exciting to be a part of and be a part of an organization that is, is ready to go and bring in the players uh, to, to build onto a team of young guys that they already have, you know. And so um, it's, it, it was a fun process going through. Uh, I knew all the possibilities, uh, um, read everything I could about what the, the plan was with the Texas Rangers. And, um, you know, when, when J.D. called, I was <laughs> – I, I didn't want to let I didn't want to let Texas get away. So this was a, a place that I wanted to be from the beginning, and uh, everything just just really worked out. And so, uh, like I said, very excited. Evan, Cole, I'm just kind of curious. John and Chris have both talked about, and both Chris's have talked about championship culture, what that means to them. I'm curious how it came across in what they laid out to you. You've talked about the vision, you talked a little bit about the plan. How did they lay it out to you? What resonated with you? Uh, it was probably the conversation that I had with Woody um, on the phone and, and just talking about what he wants to do here and what his vision has been and, and continue to grow that. And uh, that, that sat well with me. I, I've, I've wanted to always play on a team that was going to be a, a hardworking team and and go out and get after it, and with one goal in mind, and you want to win, you know, you always want to win, and um, I, I've played on some good teams, I've played on some bad teams, and but there was always that underlying uh, work ethic and what everybody wanted to put forward to be a championship caliber club, and uh, talking with Woody and just hearing it straight from him uh, about his vision of this team um, sat well with me, I wanted to be a part of it, uh, you know, even before that conversation, so that just really made it easy. Other questions? Jeff. Can, can you talk about last season, your health now? And... Yeah, the yeah, whole thing. Yeah, basically that's it. <laughs> uh, yeah, last season, that's uh, really the first time in my career that I've, I've been hurt. Um, you know, I've uh, had a couple stints on the DL, but nothing very serious. Um, and last year was kind of a snowball effect. I uh, uh, hurt my meniscus. Uh, Sometime in the off season, didn't think it was honestly that bad until we got a picture of it, and I had to get a little clean up. And so my personality, I did everything I could, um, tried to get back as fast as I could, uh, probably a little too quick. Um, ended up kind of compensating on the other side. Hurt a hamstring, probably came back from that a little too quick. Hurt the other side of the hamstring. <laughs> so um, you know, I just wanted to be on the field. I wanted to be on the field, and I wanted to play, and I wanted to help that team. Uh, you know, and and when I had that opportunity in April, we were a pretty dang good ball club, you know. And so um, then getting hurt and everything kind of started going downhill from there. A lot, a lot of other injuries and stuff too, which was extremely unfortunate, um, especially being from Arizona. Like that was a team that I grew up watching. And, um, you know, so I wanted to play well there. I wanted to be on a winning team there. And unfortunately, it didn't happen for a couple of years, you know. And, um, but – Moving forward, uh, I was able to, to get back at the end of the season, um, finish healthy, uh, and now just focused on this offseason, getting strong and, and putting that behind me and being ready to go for, for, uh, for the Texas Rangers. Nui. Nui. Uh, what do you, how do you envision using Cole to line up? And, and when he talked about the vision, um, take me through the process as you're meeting with guys and, and coming off a, a tough season to say, hey, look, we got a vision, have some faith about where we're going to go. Yeah, I think that, uh, you know, it's humbling to hear that, Cole, because, uh, you know, we've had a vision. I know J.D., when he hired me, and, and obviously bringing CY on board, um, we've never relented from that. Um, and now getting the opportunity to, to talk to a guy like Cole, who I've admired, you know, coaching against. Um, I might have been playing, actually, when he first got called up. <laughs> Uh, just the style of play, you know, always resonated with me. And I've told him that a few times personally, you know, as the opposing coach, he didn't really talk to you as an opposing player, uh, which is something that kind of stands out to me when a guy that you don't really love to play against, you know, you know how they are um, across the field. Uh, but just 
there's a lot of things that stand out with Cole. And on the, in that conversation, you know, I just try to be as honest and transparent as possible as, as what we want to accomplish and the type of players, the type of people that we want to put in Ranger uniforms. And um, for him to say that and, uh, you know, just talking to him, having him understand it and he believes in it. You know, when he said, I want to be part of something bigger than myself, I think that kind of stood out. I mean, I was like, I literally was at my son's game and just kind of burst out, you know, with, with joy, honestly, to hear that from a player who's had his kind of success. Um, and that's all he wants to be a part of. And, and I know that, you know, wherever I put him in the lineup, wherever I put him on the field, like, he's going to give me 100% every single pitch. And I think that that's, that's something that I've asked our players. I'm really proud of our players in a 100 loss season last year. They did that. Um, but with Cole and, and some of the other guys that we've signed, I trust that there's some pillars out there that they can look up to, all of our younger players. He's going to be, you know, an impact on the field. I know that. Um, I trust that he's going to work and he's going to put everything, he's going to be the best player possible um, in just talking to him. But I think the impact he's going to have on the rest of the organization, not just with our current players, but with our minor league players in camp, it's, it, it, the, the effects of this are going to be, you know, it's going to be the snowball effect of, you know, he's just going to have a tremendous impact. And I know that's what he wants. Um, we talked about leading in the clubhouse, talked about setting the example, setting the standards. Um, it's, it's an honor, honestly, to have him up here and, and be talking about it. But as far as usage goes, I, you know, obviously I see he's been a right fielder his whole career, and, you know, I expect him to, you know, obviously play well at that position. Um, and, you know, as far as the bat goes, I, you know, he, he's already talked about some of the adjustments he's going to make from last year, and I can't wait to see it. Other questions? Kennedy. Guys, were pointing. I your hands. <laughs> uh, well, Cole, can you go into some of those adjustments that Woody just mentioned you made at the plate? Uh, I mean, I think it's more building on. Uh, my my season really never got off the ground last year. Anytime I started playing, I got hurt again. I got hurt again, and so I think it's just building off what I've done uh, the last three or four years, you know, and, and getting back to that and being being more consistent. And so it's uh, nothing. Uh, radical uh, adjustments, I would say, but just kind of hone in your skill and what everybody tries to look forward uh, to doing in the off season. So, um, yeah, nothing, uh, like I said, nothing crazy, but I, I'm going to attempt to be the best version of myself that I could possibly be. Levi. Hey, so uh, Chris touched on this a little bit, but one of the things that came up quite a bit at the end of last year was just kind of the lack of veterans with skins on the wall uh, in the clubhouse. I was curious, how much have they talked to you about that and how much do you see that as part of your role on the 2022 team? Uh, honestly, I see it as, as probably the biggest role, um, to be honest with you. Uh, this is, you hit on it perfectly, uh, not a lot of veteran leadership honest, uh, in the clubhouse. And I think that's probably the thing I'm most excited about, uh, about this whole process is having a team that is going to be very influential you know and uh i that gets me going like i i enjoy that and i i enjoy being around the younger guys and kind of showing them the way of the big leagues and and how it how it should be done how you should play how you should carry yourself how you know how you should be a professional and so um i'm, I'm really excited about that i think the people that they brought in with with marcus with corey with john uh, those are guys that are going to get after it, are going to work hard, are going to play hard, want to win. Like to add us four to that group of influential young guys, I I feel like the possibilities are endless, really, and that that gets me excited. Evan, um, Cole, this was this was for you, and then a version of the same question for John and 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 Cy, but. Um, just going back and looking at your numbers, you know, the one thing that you haven't done in your career is you haven't played in a World Series. Um, this team is coming off a 100-loss season. You came off of a 100-loss season in Arizona. How does a team in this position convince a guy to say, we're going places that are special and we want you to be a part of that? How do they convince you as a veteran that, that there's reality there? Uh, I think just kind of what we hit on earlier, talking with Woody and getting to sit down and – understand that there's a process like there and, and you see this all the time you see teams rebuild and, and what what comes of that and um 
with how the minor league is set up and the young guys that came up out came here last year and made a difference, you know. And so I know it's a hundred loss season, but there's still there there is light at the end of that tunnel, you know. And you add the right veteran leadership. I think, like I said, you can do many many different things, and um, you got to believe that the guys that came up here last year are gonna take the next step and gonna get better. And and it's 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 tough. It's tough coming into this game and making a big impact and being a big player right away. You know, it, it takes a little bit of time. And um, I think anybody that pays attention to baseball has seen that uh, a number of times for a number of different players. And when you have a when you have such a young core, mix it with some good veteran guys. Now you're starting. That's kind of your recipe for uh, for some some good things to to come of that. And so. Um, that's kind of how it was laid out to me. Uh, you're right, haven't played in the World Series, um, but that's the goal, and that's the driving force, and that's what you kind of carry with you about wanting to be a winning player on a winning team. Like that, That's what keeps you going, and what better way to turn around a 100-loss season and go out and do something special, you know? And uh, I think this day is, is uh, just showing you that, that that's the, the step we're taking forward. J.D., for you and Chris, how did you approach that part of selling guys? You just ran through all the infrastructure stuff and all the coaching hires, but how did you sell that part of what you guys were going to do on the field and be able to overcome where you have been the last couple of years? Yeah, uh, so I think you, you touched on part of it. Is it's kind of laying out, you know, really the, the infrastructure, the, the things that we know, kind of the resume. But you know, a lot of clubs can can make a you know, rattle off some some attractive things about it. For me, the, the biggest thing really was when it came to those types of discussions, I would sit back and let, you know, CY and Woody, I think their reputations, kind of the way they played, the way they managed, the way they communicate, um, I think it, it resonates with players on, on, a, on a different level where, you know, they've they've competed against these guys, they've been around them. Uh, it's, it's, you know, it's not just talk. There's, you know, they know their reputations and, and what they stand for. And, and uh, it, it was pretty clear in, in talking with the, or watching them talk with the players that that, you know, that meant a lot. And, um, you know, that's, it's not a, it's not a sales job. It's, you know, who they are and how they want to lead and how we're going to, how we're going to play and compete. Yeah, Evan, to me, it's, Really, I think just as much a function of who we were sitting across uh, the table from. Uh, frankly, the players that we have met with this free agency, uh, we've identified as the right people. Um, and challenges like this aren't for everybody. Uh, but that's one of the things we've asked in each meeting is, you know, we've laid it out. We've been authentic. We've been, we've been very transparent. Um, we were a 102-loss team. We haven't run from that. Uh, but we have a vision, we have a plan, and this is how we're going to accomplish it. Does this scare you? Are you afraid? Do you want to be part of this? Do you want to do something special that's never been done in Texas Ranger history? We knew the answer with these players before we asked the question. And that's part of the process for us identifying the right people to help turn this organization around. Other questions? Back to Kennedy. Either JD or CY, one of you said at the end of the year press conference that you're not, you know, making up 50 wins in, in one off season. But it seems like, how big of a step is this first, you know, these four signings, this last, you know, four days? How big of a step is into, you know, 2023, 2024, you know, down the road? Um, I think everything's got to be viewed kind of individually. You know, um, I touch on. I think we have to continue to make incremental good decisions, one after another, after another. And the compounding effect of that is going to lead to a to a championship and lead to multiple championships. But you know, with with Cole in particular, you know, we know what he's capable of on the field, and we've touched a lot on on the leadership component, and that's the piece that we think is like is compounding. So, um, you know. I'd rather not sit here and say you know, how much ground we feel we've made up because the bottom line is you know we were not in contention at any point last year and, and we've got to let our you know our performance on the field speak to that but uh, you know our intention was to take a meaningful step forward this year um, and we're not going to put any limits on the club beyond that. What else, Chris?
Hey, Cole. Um, how familiar are you with some of the existing players here when you look at, like, Adolis Garcia, Jose Trevino, Nathaniel Lowe, like some of the guys? I mean, Adolis Garcia was a Rookie of the Year finalist and won the Sporting News Rookie of the Year. I mean, when you look at guys like that, how familiar are you and how excited are you to work with them? Uh, very excited. Um, honestly, not, not very familiar, uh, especially guys being so young. I've been over in the National League, haven't played against them a ton, you know, and um, but – like you said, there, there's talent on this ball club, and to be able to come and and play with these guys, and even even guys like Marcus, guys like Corey, guy, John Gray, guys that I've played against and haven't liked playing against those guys, to be in the same clubhouse with them and be able to wear the same jersey with them, like that that's exciting for me too, you know. And so it's it's all it's this whole group. I, it's the it's the idea of of the the possibilities of what can be accomplished. Um, that that get you excited they get you know everybody excited about watching the texas rangers this year and so um i like i said it's more of the the impact that that i can make now than um you know how much i really know these guys yet you know anything else okay right there alan thanks uh, for uh, John and, and Chris, uh, with all the announcements you guys are making today, is it is it an obstacle to be watching what's going on? Like you still got an eye on what's going on up the street in Irving with uh, negotiations. Um, is that going to be a distract? Like, can that be a distraction with trying to focus on the product on the field? No, not really. I mean, we're going to control what we can control. You know, to it might be a cliche, but it's it's true. And you know, we're we're really focused. We got a lot to do here in, in terms of building out our club, building out. Uh, the organization we've got a lot to focus on on the player development side and, and getting ready for the draft and all that comes with that so uh, other people are are focused on on uh, you know the negotiations and uh, we're focused on putting the club together